Hey guys, it's Dal, and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Uh, last time we left off, we had just me met the Fate Weaver outside of the tower at Alistair. Alistar, all, Alistar, Alist. I'm I'm horrible. Uh, this is the guy we met, Argaf, the Fate Weaver. Uh, told us that we don't have a fate, and that's very peculiar, it's the might of the gods and whatnot, and we're an abomination. Well, he doesn't know what we are, but we gotta go meet his other his other fate weaver buddy somewhere over in Yolvan. I'll bring up the map here. Um, we'll go to world map. Uh, over here is where we're supposed to meet Arden. That's our active quest right now. Arden's hut in Yolvan. Uh, apparently we've gotta go through this place, which is Odorath. Looks like Yolvan's part of it maybe? I don't know. Uh, but the first town we're going to come to is Gorehart. And they seem to have a uh, shop, healing, training, repair, blacksmithing, alchemy, and sage crafting. Everything we need. A little a little, a little newbie like us, freshly from the grave, or the incinerator. Saved from the incinerator piles. Um, and whatnot. So, we're going to get to Gorehart. And if we have the DLC, which of course I do, uh, that's where your your special items loot chest will will spawn. So let's get head up there and see what we find. I'm sure, we're gonna have to fight our ways there. Um, still a little bit under the weather, so again, I apologize if I sound a bit nasally. Uh, this would be okay. The Alpha Navy recruitment lever. This the Legend of Dead Kel. This is one of the DLCs that you can get. And the teeth of Naros, which is another one. They're offshoots of the main, and we'll shoot shoot off on those later. Um, these uh, was there a bogger up there that I missed? Okay. Uh, these star are the are the uh, lore stones. Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the night. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. All right, and since we got the first one, now, if you saw the, saw the little tooltip that came up, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, where would it, would it be? Quests? No. Um, yeah, report to Rathir, that's level 10 plus, or contact the expedition. Again, is another one for level 10 plus. They're just add-ons to the game. Uh, special delivery. Delivery? Yeah. Delivery. That's kind of the one we're on. That's where we get your, uh, you get your special items. So, um, I'm trying to find out where that is. I don't remember where it is. Uh, status? Yeah, lore stones. There we go. Uh, what these do is these unlock unlock permanent bonuses. So for every one you find, Dalentarth, Garduath, for each area you find one in, you get a permanent bonus. Odorath, Yolvan, Webwood, all of them. They'll give you different ones, and they will all give you different abilities. So they're worth it. Uh, eight point eight poison resist uh, eight poison resistance from finding all five and Dalentarth. So, uh, these are definitely worth looking into to optimize your, your, your characters and whatnot. So they can totally just make everything that much more, excuse me, that much more awesome. But I figured I'd show you that as we get there. So let's get back on the road, pick up a little bit of this and that on our way. Uh, I've decided I'm going to try and stick to the main quests unless I'm asked otherwise. I will only follow the quests that are placed before me as I need to. Oh, hello, you big brute. What the heck is that? It's like a weird... It's like a an oryx. That's what I would call it. Foul beast. Oh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Take that, mother clucker. Uh, and I believe here we are. First city. Eel petals. Lots of reagents to be found. Um, so yeah, alchemy is definitely a worthwhile... You can always need, you, you'll always need more potions. And there's something going on in this city square. New location, yeah, we got that. You can fast travel them, that will save us a bunch of time. Fast travel, blah, 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 you gotta switch to the local map, yes, yes, okay, I got it. Go to the world map, you press enter to continue, and you can select this. As long as it's been a place that you've been, like I can go back to Stone Candle Mines right now, and I'll say, do I want to fast travel? No. But you get the idea. All right, thanks for the tutorial. Everyone, just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Oh. Go back to your business. What? Go on. You're snotty. Oh, what is that? Hi. Oh. Hey, Herc. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage oh. like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink oh. of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Oh. oh what happened? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, uh. although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted oh. a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. Oh. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know oh. if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. I, I'm sorry, but the backgrounds of her oh. agony didn't really don't really sound like agony, if you ask me. But uh, oh. right, <laughs> they just don't. Oh. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> Who attacked the girl? It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days. But it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets oh. mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll help. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm oh. going to suggest something a bit... Silly bumpkins. Untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Oh. Seek her wisdom. Oh. I would do it, but... I'm a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. Oh. If not, then we're back where we started. Right, so I guess we're gonna have to go on a side track here. Tell me about the Red Legion. I've seen many oh. bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home. But these men are a particular breed. They like the victims weak and bloody. Oh. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people ah. are scared to show their faces after dark. Right, well, I'll remember that. Oh. Tell me about Aerie. She Where spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Oh. Well, I'm sure she... If she's... From what I've gathered of Faye, I'm pretty sure she knows that you know. Oh. That she knows that you know. But you don't think that she knows that you know. You know? Bye now. Yes, I'm gonna hit enter. And we'll pursue that quest. But first, let's go up to this awesome little... Or I told you I wasn't going to take this stuff, but I was gonna look into it. Um, Valley set is for mages. Just compare. Uh, they give you set bonuses for two piece and three piece. This would be the mage set. Um, then you got some mage weapons, chakrams, guardian cuirass, which is for uh, your plate. It's coming a lot of handy, but we're not going to, because I said I wouldn't. Uh, epic shields, epic long swords, epic great sword, hammer, and then the Rogue, rogue set. Compare again. Really neat stuff. Lots of crit, things like that. And then moon, the wind. These are fey blades. That's the shield for the buckler for them. 
knives, bow, some weird evil helm, um, twin souls, which is the chakrams, which are awesome, and then the shepherd's cuirass, which is actually one of my favorites, because it's mana and health regen, so I'm guessing that's for like fighter mages, which is what my main wore for a long time before he actually went almost strictly melee, so... But you get a twist of fate for this. Ice and fire. Confident, so that's nice. And that's a permanent bonus. But we're not going to go and take that stuff. We are going to stay on the up and up. Not using the DLC. Since we probably won't be following it for a while yet. Unless someone tells me otherwise. Um, we'll go over to the blacksmithing forge. Hit enter. And I will salvage first off. Enter. Uh, we'll salvage one of my iron long swords. Enter. And I got an iron blade and a basic grip off of that. So continue. Uh, but I can also sell a bunch of this stuff that I'm not going to use if I wanted to. Uh, let's salvage the rusty iron blade, basic grips, so you get kind of an idea. Crude birch longbow, daggers, we got two of those, let's salvage one of them. Crude hilt, small iron blades, um, and it also helps because you will need these parts for other things. Fine iron chosses, I'm wearing one I think, <laughs> before I do that though. Let's craft. Each type of equipment will show what components are required to make it. So there we go. We need rivets for anything. Really. Warrior armor. Can't really make anything yet. But and then you need rogue armor, mage armor, weapons. You need rivets. I haven't salvaged anything for rivets yet. Rivets yet. But, if I'm not mistaken, inside this chest. Chainmail. Uh, we will take that stuff, and I will want to make mitts eventually. Salvage. I don't think I want this hammer. Okay, um, continue. We're going to have to salvage a bunch of this crap. There we go, rivets. They're weak rivets, but they're rivets. Nothing. Nothing. It's all beginner equipment, I think. Weak rivets, threadbare linings, okay. Save one of the old shoes. Salvage one of the torn robes. Uh, old boots. Nothing off of those. Nothing off of those. Um, yeah, that's about all we're going to get out of that right now, so... Actually, let's get rid of the other torn robes. Basic trim. Alright, we should have enough to craft something. So, let's get back out of that and go into craft. There we go, I can craft a long sword. Or I can make a pair of gloves. Which I probably should use. Actually, I think I can make both. Let's make a pair of gloves. Chainmail mitts, yes. So we'll do that. Hardened grip, plus 10 health, or plus 5 health for a basic grip. Let's use the hardened grip. And threadbare lining. Give me regular gauntlets. And we'll confirm that. Uh, you can rename them if you want to. This is a low level, I'm not going to. Click OK. I can't even wear them because I need a might of 7, so that's fine. Enter to continue. Let's craft weapons. Uh, let's craft a new longsword. Iron blade. Basic flamed hilt, so we're gonna make a flaming sword. Weak rivets. Aw oh, yeah. Compared to what I've got, no contest. Confirm crafting. What should we name it? We should name it Fire Iron. Sure. Sounds good. Simple enough. Alright, continue. 
clothes. And now what we'll do is we'll go into our inventory. We'll go to weapon. Oops, weapons. Primary. Equip Mr. Fire Iron. And secondary is still that. Uh, armor. I'm still wearing. Oh, right. I don't have a helmet yet. Can't wear those yet. These are about the same. Huh. Right. So we're gonna sell some stuff. There's a shop. What is it? Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Yep. Oh, she can only repair stuff. So long. I don't need your services. Don't start any trouble. I will. I need to buy stuff. Welcome to Gorhard, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? There we go. Right, so there we go. Iron Curus. Wow. Lots of money. Like a hat. Maybe some gloves. I did make just change. Uh, how about greaves? Compare to what I'm wearing. A little better. Not much though. Hardy ring. Ooh, nice. Twenty health. Ah, that ex that uh, that ex uh, will increase my inventory limit by ten. So that's nice. Those are always nice. Goodbye. But for now, I guess I'm kind of poor. I've got this amazing flaming sword. Here. We'll start bitches on fire. Oh yeah. All right, let's go talk to this fey chick. If I can find the way out, there we go. We'll come back. I promise. I swear she does not. Uh, I think we're gonna be here a while. There's Welcome quite a few quests. Um, alchemy. Uh, it's an alchemy alchemist in here. We'll do that after. Let's go find this other lady. We can't go up there. There's a quest to get in there. <laughs> All these people keeping their Greetings. loot. There are chests scattered about too, and if it doesn't have a red hand by it, you can just have whatever's in them. Um, to be able to attack, um, quote unquote, friendlies, I believe if you hit H while they're s selected. Oh, well, let me do it yet. Um, Maybe it's unlocked in time. If it's unlocked in time, I think you can. But you can't quite do it yet. I think there might be a, a level limit on that. For your own safety, I'm sure. Uh, let's pick this lock. Ooh. Close. But, oop. A little bit less. Yeah, there we go. Scepter, coins, and a fire shard. All right. All right, let's go find this chick <laughs> quick here. Oh, not that way. Road out of town, Dal. Road out of town. <laughs> Mural, chicken. <laughs> Back to the fable days. Ah, yes. Uh, I know we're gonna run into some baddies out here somewhere.
it's like my sword explodes when it hits. It's awesome. It's not just fire. It's explosive fire. Yeah, buddy. I should have waited. Archers, we don't like you. Anybody else? No, but I think you dropped some cool stuff. Ooh, and I did level up. Right on. We'll be back. Anyway, I lost. I lost. I are lost. There we go. Let's level up. Yeah, level up. That's let me salvage green. Greens, I think. And Sagecraft. Lambent quality shards. Eh, let's just do... Oof, I'm not sure. Let's just do uh, three in blacksmithing right away. I know I'm going to use it a lot. Oh, wait. Confirm. Uh, we're going to go back in swords again. Uh, two with swords two there, and one there, so that makes all that stuff hit harder. Oh, and I didn't do it right. Confirm. And we're still going to stay with our brawler, and confirm. Right. Alright. Iron Greaves, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, armor. Uh, can't wear those. Ooh, I can wear those now. Equip them. Ooh, they look fancy. Iron. Those are just leather, but they're okay, I guess. They have crit on them, so that's never a bad thing. Ooh, that one's got a socket in it. Let's equip those. I don't like that hood. I really don't. But that's fine. We're good. It's gonna be a hodgepodge of armor. I really like... I'm a really big fan of armor sets, but... I will, in fact, actually... take the, the lesser things if it means that I can have a matching set. Usually. <laughs> Come on, wolves travel in packs. There's gotta be more than one. Maybe. Alright. Well, I lucked out this time. Ooh, there's a stone. Is it another Dalen type of stone? I don't know nope. what to say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back uh, to town, here buddies. was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, are amazing. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. Oh my god, shut that girl up. I don't want to find all of those stones. Oh my god. They're just going to start using them for gossip. Ooh. Bonus chest. Right, so... Ooh, a shrine. Yeah, Theodon. I believe he's the Order God. And there's another chest over here that I missed. I walked right by it. Might as well get that. Ooh, hard. 
tick lock for sure. Ooh, oops, let's go this way. Oh yeah, new shield. I'm really going long on this episode, I think. <laughs> but that's all right. Everybody else is having a good time. Let's equip that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, let's go talk to this girl. She should be right there. There she is. May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Aerie. Your, your hollow face gods. is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yeah, um... Yes, I witnessed this crime. Although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. Oh, we all look alike. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Tell me about it. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. All of us are at the mercy of the changing seasons, mortal and fey alike. If it is one's time to pass into the great cycle, then we must not protest. The passing is keeping with autumn, and is as natural as the eventual rebirth. Fey lands? Yes, I've heard these words before, but do not understand their meaning. There are only fey, and there is only land. I do find all main sentiments so charming. Thank you. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. I cannot reveal much. The gardens are the jewel of the summer court, a wonder beheld by few mortals. It is located far east of here in a wood so thick it would devour all but those who knew its secrets. Do not pursue such mysteries, mortal. They are not for you. We are kin to the seasons and cycles of all life, to new life and perpetual growth. Mortals may view the warmth of the petals and smell the beauty of a newborn bud, but only Fae know the strength of the roots beneath the surface. Right. I adore every sad soul in the village, even stubborn Herc with his tender heart and drunken old Arnick. The widow fascinates me. She has no idea that her lover is dead. I watch them from my perch, hoping to learn the meaning behind their pursuits and passions. If I could, I would grant each of them an eternity. Alas, I cannot. They contain memories, great moments, ideas, songs, and inspirations. The Fae do not record their words in ink or on paper. Ink fades, paper crumbles. Lore stones mark where our kind has made a lasting impression, where the season slowed to take note of glory on a grand scale. I find them so interesting. From their vestments to their odd habits and demeanors. Just yesterday I saw a monk from the Almain mission sneaking through the underbrush. Oh, you did? Strange creatures you are. Strange, but glorious. I feel them near, flitting through the western woods like shafts of shadow in the sunlight. What could have brought them here, I wonder? The Tuatha do not trouble themselves with easy prey. 
If they prowl these woods, it is for worthy quarry. Probably me. <coughs> oh, I mean, uh, okay, yeah, thanks for your help. Farewell. Alright, so we gotta go find a greater healing potion. But, I believe in looking at the clock, we're probably going to run back to town and end there. So, as I make my way back, I'm going to be ambushed. Right, probably right here. There they are. I like how their weapons just kind of fall wherever, off camera. Pretty neat. Anyway, um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this this step this episode. Uh, tune in next time when we get our greater healing potion and try to save the the Fey that was found dead in Gorhart or injured in Gorhart rather. Um, remember, if you liked the videos, you want to see more, subscribe, like, favorite, tell your friends. And I will see you next time. Bye.